Leaving up your world, I've just, because as I did a small vegan shop at the beginning of the week, I've just gone and done a top up, basically. And um, I'll go for it now with you. So I'll start from left, I'll give a quick scan, just to show you everything. Then I'll go for I'll get the receipt, just in case. I've been asked before, do you remember it? Yes, I do, but there's one thing I can't remember the price I'm going to get. Let's start here. I've got the four of the sower, the growers, the harvest, soy drinks and sweetened, and they're 50 pence each. I picked up two of the R Pro no sugar oat milk. Now, first of all, I picked up the R Pro. Didn't realise they did the no sugars, which is healthier, obviously. Oh, sorry, they're one thirty-five each. What I did do, I'd already picked up two of the Tesco's own brand oat milk, and I was just looking at the labels in comparison at different things. And what I didn't never, I never realised until today is the oat milk, Tesco's own brand one normally, it's got um, sunflower oil in, or vegetable oil. It's vegetable oil, sorry. And I couldn't believe it. I looked at the two while I was in the shop, and then I thought, well, from now on, I'm never buying them again. I, mean, I always remember that Sunny Delight ad vegetable oil in, didn't it? And now I didn't realise until today, Tesco's own brand, oatmeal gab. I mean, I know this has got preservatives and what, and I've seen the YouTube, maybe I should make some oatmeal and see what it works like. It's just basically oats in water, isn't it? So why are we doing this? I don't know. But I'm just going to, I just thought I'd explain that. I would have put them back because even 5p cube, it's like you say 5p, it's a brand, isn't it, our pro? But um, they're actually healthier than the Tesco's own brand ones. Just wanted to let you know that because I was completely shocked when I saw that I had vegetable oil in it. And you say about the ingredients going by the first thing first. And I'm, I mean, if we take this, yeah, there are a few things in here, admittedly. But the thing is, oat based, and it goes through. Sorry, um, ingredients oat based 97% water, 8.3% oat, whatever. But what I'm trying to say to you is, the first ingredient was vegetable oil. And I'll try and see if I've got an empty carton in them later on and we'll have a talk on it because it absolutely shocked and disgusted me. So I always remember the Sunny Delight, which is no, right, no longer around, is it, thank goodness. So that's it. Dead one thirty five, by the way, sorry, as I said. I picked up some garlic, breaded garlic mushrooms. Um, vegetarian, but I went right into the back by the ingredients. Clearly, that you can buy ingredients, so pick them up. They were two pound ten. I got the shift, um, shift of Chicago Town saucy vegan stuffed crust takeaway. They had the I got the sticky barbecue jackfruit. They had another one as well, but I thought I'd go for that one to be honest with you. And that was three pound, I believe. Sorry about this. I'm having a bit of a one tonight because it's a late one, and I'm just gonna. It was three twenty-five. I don't like to give false information. Usually four pound. It was three twenty-five. We then picked up some of the Tesco Plant Chef Fish Free Goujons. And I'll explain why, even though people go process, 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 and you're absolutely right, I'm trying to get my protein levels up a bit at the moment. And um, that's the reason why I'm getting some of these meals. And I'll, I'll go in and talk about that at some other time because that's the one thing I'll be honest. I've realised over the last few weeks I've been struggling with my protein intake. So we'll talk about that another time, but let's leave it there. So I've got these Pratt, sorry, Tesco Plant Chef Fish Free. Um, I like the fact that the bars on most things that I get are pretty decent. Maybe not on the jackfruit. Absolutely not on the jackfruit pizza, to be honest. But yeah, so they were £1.70. Sorry, it's a bit of a waffle one, isn't it? I got the reduced fat hummus. And I looked again at the... And it's a lot... The, I went for the reduced fat you think about this. Because it is genuinely better for you than the O-fat one. But um, you can get an offer on two for £2.50, but I paid one thirty five for one. Uh, I then got the almonds vegan mayo. That was two pack. It was in the reduced. It was on the shelf with the mayo, but it said reduced, which is like when they do the clear out stock. But so it was two pound thirteen. But it's always good to have a vegan mayo in the cupboard, isn't it? I picked three of the Trek protein flapjacks, and the other day I went to get them, and I thought, well, three pounds that's a pound each. No, it's a treat, but it's also a great source of protein. Nine grams in a small bar. It is worth. It. So I just got them. Yeah, so they were three pounds, so they work at a pound a bar. And then I've had one already on the way home, let's not lie. They're not the biggest bars in the world. Put it in perspective against the vegan mayo jar. You know, it's not the biggest bars. Okay, fine. I've got the Plant Chef Veg Fingers, which I love, but they're on offer at one pound fifty at the moment, so that's even better, isn't it? Well, it is for me. And then I've got Tesco's Plant Chef No Chicken Garlic Kievs. Bit of a date on them. Barcodes are good, so I thought, get them. Um... They were £2.20. £2.20, yeah. I picked up the R Pro 
Chopra Yoga. Obviously, it's the big made from soya, so it's clearly marked vegan. Plant based with live cultures. Okay. Let's have a quick nose there. Just for out of curiosity. £1.50. Usually £2. I've got one avocado because I've got one on the go nearly ripe already. Um, my daughter's also picked me up a, a, a sourdough loaf from the services, but it's a nice one. But um, probably going to cost about £5. I don't get it till tomorrow. So I love me sourdough toast, is what I'm trying to say to you. So that's why I've got another avocado ready. I've got the impeccable chicken breast by the vegetarian butcher, clearly marked vegan. I've had these before, they are nice. Um, they're on offer at the moment though at £2. So I thought I'd get them. And that's quick. Yeah, just a quick look at what they're like. Okay. I've got the Plant Chef No Steak Pies, four for £2.60. Again, also impressive with pies at the, the bars. You know, they're not too bad, are they? I picked it, so they were 260. Alfez Moroccan style meatball tagine sauce. I got some um, Linda McCartney meatballs. I was going to do it in a pasta sauce. I thought I'd do Moroccan and I'll do that in the next few days. That's on offer at the moment at two pound a jar. So I got that one. I got some red chilies because yes, I'm going to do another vegan resort. I gave my daughter some of the my four bean chili. She loved it and said, are you going to make any more? She's had it before and she knows she's had it before. She said she can make it herself. But I thought, you know what? I'll make a batch up. You can have some, I can have some. I can put some in the freezer. That's what I said to her. So I've got the chilies to do the, we actually use fresh chilies in the four bean chili. I've got a big punnet of um, chestnut mushrooms um, for £2.20. Black seedless grapes are on offer at £1.50. So I've got those. I've got a bag of coriander for 52 pence because I love coriander and I love it with chili. I haven't had it the last few times. Now this is kind of good but bad. This range, which is vegan, it says vegetarian, but it's vegan by ingredient. Um, two for 85 pence. They're frozen. The irony is it's good and it's sad, but um, the fresh ones are all sold out, which is kind of good, I suppose, because people are inadvertently eating a vegan product they don't realise they're eating. Then I've got a big bag of baby spinach for £1.88, and it is a big bag. So that'll last me a while, but I always end up putting a load in the freezer, to be honest with you. But it's worth getting a big bag and putting some in the freezer for smoothies and curries and we'll have you later on. I've actually, in the past, if you've watched my videos on once upon a time, I bought a big bag of frozen spinach, but why? Use the fresh and put it in the freezer before, well before it's running. Right, I've got a tin of bolotti beans in water for 49 pence. A tin of pinto beans in water for 49 pence. Two tins of chickpeas. Yeah, just, just reading that, in water for 49 pence. A tin of black beans in water for 49 pence. And a tin of... Uh, 49 And a tin of butter beans in water for 49 pence. Ah, that's it, I was getting confused. And then I got two tins of the Growers Darvish chopped tomatoes. And they were 39 pence a tin. So I just wanted to put that into perspective. That's why I was getting confused. So that's my weekly vegan food shop. If you've got this far, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm. Please feel free to leave comments. And if you've got any ideas on protein, and I've done a lot of research, you may be going over something, but I do appreciate it. If you've got any ideas, please give them to me. You know, I'm really, I'll do a video on it. It's not going to affect me being vegan, it's just I'm struggling with my protein intake. And I have been monitoring on my fitness pal, just to see. But yeah, that's my vegan food shop. If you can get you've got this far, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, please, I appreciate them. I really do. And I've got a few to respond to again. Jane and Ali and uh, Matt, I think, as well, among others. I will respond. Sorry, I just uh, do get a bit behind at times, especially during the week. And uh, No excuse, it's Saturday. Um, and if it's something you get used to, subscribe. You can get on with the waffle. Subscribing would be absolutely amazing. But most importantly, please take care and stay safe. Until the next one, thanks again for watching. Bye bye.